There are more incredible drama, comedy, and documentary shows releasing every week than anyone can feasibly keep up with ensuring viewers need to be choosy about what they invest their time in. For long-winded spin-offs of incredible movies, to years gestating new seasons of hit TV shows, and a Netflix adaptation the entire world is rooting for, these are unquestionably the most hyped and anticipated shows of 2024. So let's take a look at them. I'm Adam, this is What Culture, and here are our 20 most anticipated TV shows of 2024. Number 20, The Penguin. Showrunner Lauren LeFranc produces this long-awaited spin-off from Matt Reeves' The Batman film, centered around, of course, Matt Reeves' iteration of Oswald Cobblepot, played nearly unrecognizably under a pilot makeup by Colin Farrell. The eight-episode series will take place during the week following the movie, as the Penguin ascends the ranks of Gotham City's criminal underworld following the demise of Carmine Falcone. Farrell will be joined by Kristen Milioti as his rival Sophia Falcone, Clancy Brown as mob boss Salvador Moroni, and a wider ensemble cast including Michael Kelly, Shohei Agdaslu, Theo Rossi, and Carmen Jogo. Given that Farrell's Cobblepot was a regular scene-stealer in The Batman, it's incredibly easy to be excited about this. The Penguin releases in late 2024. Number 19, True Detective, Night Country. It's been an agonizing five-year wait for a new season of True Detective. Headlined by the in Incredible Jodie Foster in the role of Detective Liz Danvers, Night Country sees the Silence of the Lambs actor investigating the disappearance of eight men from a research station in the town of Ennis, Alaska. Spooky. Though this is the first season without any major involvement from True Detective creator Nick Pizzolatto, given the pedigree of series director Isa Lopez and supporting cast including John Hawkes, Christopher Eccleston and Fiona Shaw, it's tough to be much worried. The scenery change is certainly a welcome one too, and could help the show restore some of the shine that it's been lacking ever since its first season blew just about everyone away. True Detective Night Country premieres on January 14th. Number 18, Masters of the Air. Almost three years after it began filming, Masters of the Air is finally hitting Apple TV in mere weeks. The war drama miniseries co-produced by Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg is a clear spiritual successor to both Band of Brothers and The Pacific, and follows the 100th Bomb Group of the US Air Force during World War II. The unit was nicknamed the Bloody 100th due to the huge losses they incurred during their service, so it's best to expect a characteristically unflinching amount from Spielberg's camp. Spielberg and Hanks have been working on this thing since October 2012, and have amassed a stacked cast led by Austin Butler, and also including Barry Keegan, Shooty Gatwer, Callum Turner, and many, many more. If the show is even remotely as good as it looks, then Apple has yet another mega butchered gemstone to add to their weighty crown. Masters of the Air premieres on January 26th. Number 17, Fallout. If 2023 was the year that Hollywood finally took video game adaptation seriously, I'm looking at you, The Last of Us. 2024 looks to carry the mantle forward with Amazon Prime Video's Fallout. Just take a look at the show's teaser trailer, and it's clear that Amazon have invested a ungodly amount of money in faithfully recapturing the look and feel of Bethesda's beloved post-apocalyptic RPG franchise. Ella Purnell stars as young vault dweller Lucy, and will be joined by Walton Goggins as the ghoul and Kyle MacLachlan as Lucy's father, Hank. With Westworld's Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan steering the ship, it certainly seems like the wasteland is in safe hands. Fallout premieres on April 12th. Number 16, The Sympathizer. It's certainly been refreshing to see Robert Downey Jr. return to serious acting, with his recent Golden Globe winning turn in Oppenheimer. And next, he'll appear in The Sympathizer, a miniseries co-developed by Park Chan-wook and based off the award-winning novel. The plot revolves around the captain, a North Vietnamese spy placed in the South Vietnamese army, who is forced to flee to the United States near the end of the war. The big hook is that Downey will be playing at least four different antagonistic characters, giving him the floor to go absolutely wild in a variety of unique get-ups. And if that's somehow not compelling enough, Sandra Oh is also along for the ride. Sandra Oh is Debbie and Invincible, by the way. Incredible. The Sympathizer premieres sometime in 2024. 
Number 15, Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Agatha Harkness was the undeniable surprise breakout for the Marvel Cinematic Universe's WandaVision, enough that Disney commissioned her her own spin-off series, which after going through a couple of different titles has finally settled on Agatha Darkhold Diaries. The series will be based on Agatha's quest to regain her powers following the events of WandaVision, seeing her team up with a ragtag band of misfits including Aubrey Plaza's witch Rio Vidal. The Han Plaza pairing alone makes this must-see television, and with WandaVision's creator Jack Schaefer also the showrunner, it's easy to be optimistic that it'll manage to recapture the magic. Now it has been a tough couple of years for the MCU for sure, but as upcoming projects go, this is certainly one of the most potential rich. Agatha Darkhold Diaries is set to premiere in the fall of 2024. Number 14, Three Body Problem. Now as rightfully as much as Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss remain very much in the doghouse following how that show wrapped up, they're hoping to get back in everyone's good graces with their ambitious new sci-fi series for Netflix. Adapted from the mind-bending novel of the same name, Three Body Problem focuses on astrophysicist Ewan Gia, whose pivotal decision in the 1960s threatens humanity's existence in the present. Given that Benioff and Weiss are at least working from complete source material this time, they shouldn't face the same creative stumbling blocks they did with Thrones. And from the teaser trailer released to date, it certainly looks like a uniquely trippy romp. The pair have also filled the cast with a number of Thrones alums, including John Bradley, Liam Cunningham, and Jonathan Price, who are also joined by Benedict Wong, Asa Gonzalez, and many more. Three Body Problem premieres on March 21st. Number 13, The Regime. The last time Kate Winslet starred in a TV show, we got the brilliance that was the mayor of Easttown. So it's easy to be optimistic for her next drama series, The Regime. Winslet stars as the chancellor of a fictional Central European autocracy that appears to be in its final days. And the premise alone certainly seems to offer a fittingly meaty role for the actress. In addition to the epic production values, the cast is freaking stacked. And with Succession EP and the menu writer Will Tracy serving as showrunner, this looks primed to have a wealth of satirical bite. Don't be surprised if it ends up as 2024's big water cooler show. If those things still exist in the work from home era, the regime premieres on March 3rd. Number 12, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's honestly surprising that it's taken almost 20 years for someone to follow 2005's Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt starring Mr. and Mrs. Smith with a small screen spin-off. This new tick stars Donald Glover and Maya Erskine as the titular married spies, though it diverges pretty significantly from the 2005 film, given that they're both entirely aware of their spouse's profession, with the marriage instead being part of their cover-up. All the same, the show will be defined by the chemistry between Glover and Erskine, which seems to be pretty solid from the little we've seen so far. The ensemble cast is also wild, including, among its number, Parker Posey, Paul Dano, Alexander Skarsgård, Sarah Paulson, Sharon Hogan, and Ron Perlman. Wow. Mr. and Mrs. Smith premieres on February 2nd. Number 11, The Acolyte. Disney's new Star Wars series will take place at the tail end of the High Republic era, approximately 100 years before The Phantom Menace, and focus on a former Padawan reuniting with her former Jedi Master to investigate a series of crimes. Though small screen Star Wars has proven wildly inconsistent as of late, the fact that Russian doll co-creator Leslie Headland is leading the charge certainly makes this one worth paying attention to. Now, easy though it is to feel fatigued by the avalanche of content from the galaxy far, far away, the potential here speaks for itself, especially with Daphne Keane, Jodie Turner-Smith, Dean Charles Chapman, and Carrie Ann Moss rounding out the cast. The Acolyte will premiere sometime in 2024. Now, before we get into the top 10, let us know in the comments down below of your most anticipated show of 2024. And you know what? While you're at it, which long dead show would you love to see make a comeback? Why not? Let us know in the comments too. Number 10, Shogun. Shogun is based on James Clavell's titular 1975 novel, and was previously adapted into a 1980 miniseries starring Richard Chamberlain and Toshiro Mifune. 
This time around, however, Cosmo Jarvis stars as English sailor John Blackthorne, who ends up shipwrecked in Japan and crosses paths with Lord Yoshi Torunaga. The 10-episode series marks the biggest scale and presumably most expensive show ever undertaken by Network FX, and certainly seems to be worthy of the prestige content routinely pumped out by HBO. If nothing else, it'll afford a starring role to the great Hiroyuki Sanada, who improves just about anything he appears in. Shogun premieres on February 27th. Number 9, The Umbrella Academy Season 4. The Umbrella Academy is truly one of the finest shows ever produced by Netflix, an endlessly charming and totally unique stab at the superhero genre, elevated further by its outstanding ensemble cast. But all good things must come to an end, and so too the adaptation of the comic series will wrap up with its impending fourth season. Now fans might be disappointed to learn that the final season has been truncated to just six episodes, but hopefully this will ensure a bloat-free send-off that focuses on doing justice to its beloved focal superhero family. In the very least, we know that we're going to get some absolutely sick needle drops once again. The Umbrella Academy Season 4 premieres sometime in 2024. Number 8, Expats. Lulu Wang adapts Janice Y.K. Lee's 2016 novel The Expatriates, a tableau drama following a tightly knit community of expats living in Hong Kong. Nicole Kidman leads a cast also including Brian T. and Jack Houston, and while the premise could easily incite groans and eye rolls with the wrong execution, given Wang's experience with this brand of material, it's easy to believe she'll knock it out of the park. The trailer doesn't give too much away about the narrative, but it's clearly going to be one defined by grief, secrets, and regret. If nothing else, Kidman's sure to put on another sheer acting clinic. Expats premieres on January 26th. Number 7, Dune Prophecy. Dune Prophecy serves as a prequel to Denis Villeneuve's two Dune movies, taking place a whopping 10,000 years prior and centering around the origins of the Bene Gesserit. The protagonists are sisters Valya and Tula Harkonnen, who find themselves facing forces that threaten the very survival of mankind. Though the show has had something of a prolonged, strained development, including several cast and crew members departing during its production, it's easy to appreciate the difficulty of expanding the world of Dune in a meaningful way, and the delicacy with which it must be approached. Hopefully this meticulous production will result in something worthy of Villeneuve's films, because the potential is absolutely colossal. Dune Prophecy releases late 2024. Number 6, House of the Dragon Season 2. House of the Dragon's first season was a welcome tonic following the abject collapse of Game of Thrones in its final season, a welcome reminder of the power of this world and the stories within it. Season 1 did a fantastic job of laying the groundwork for future ones, and with producers already confirming that Season 2 will calm down with the time jumps and focus on a more compressed period, it should fully cement the cast and setting for audiences to grow acquainted with over the next few years. Though showrunner-director Miguel Shaposhnik has departed for Season 2, Thrones alum Alan Taylor will be returning, so that's neat. House of the Dragon Season 2 will premiere in summer 2024. Number 5, Death and Other Details. It's fair to say that the murder mystery genre has enjoyed quite the resurgence over the last five or so years, and Hulu is the next streaming service hoping to plant its flag, with death and other details revolving around a murder on a luxury cruise ship, and a famed detective who has 24 hours to solve it. This one's certainly wearing its genre influences on its sleeve, though it looks like a supreme giggle. If it can weave a solid mystery that keeps us guessing until the end, it should be a blast. Death and Other Details premieres on January 16. Number 4, Avatar The Last Airbender. Primed to obliterate everyone's lingering memories of M. Night Shyamalan's ill-advised big screen adaptation, Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender is certainly leaning more faithfully on its animated source material while rocking the wondrous visuals you'd absolutely hope for. Even though it's a tad concerning that the series' original creators departed the show amid creative differences back in 2020, what's been shown so far looks like it retains the heart and soul of the original series. Between the eye-watering production values and absolutely huge ensemble cast, this will hopefully be more one piece where adaptations of beloved fantasy IP are concerned, 
And if it isn't, Netflix won't ever hear the end of it. Avatar The Last Airbender premieres on February 22nd. Number 3. Ripley Now no, I have to address, Ripley isn't a TV prequel about the Alien series Ellen Ripley. That would be pretty cool though. But rather Netflix's new adaptation of the legendary 1955 crime novel The Talented Mr. Ripley. Andrew Scott stars this time as suave conman Tom Ripley as he deceives his way through the elite hierarchy in 1960s New York. While Scott is joined by Johnny Flynn as Dixie Greenleaf and Dakota Fanning as Marge Sherwood. With Oscar winning screenwriter Stephen Zalian serving as writer director and legendary cinematographer Robert Eltswitz shooting the entire thing in black and white, Ripley has some serious behind the camera talent, and the lead role should fit Scott like a glove. Ripley premieres sometime in 2024. Number 2 X Men 97. Of all the many belated streaming service revivals as of late, one of the few that doesn't even have a whiff of cynicism to it is X-Men 97, a continuation of the much-loved X-Men the Animated series, which originally ran from 1992 to 1997. Picking up where the original series left off with a mix of new and returning voice cast members, X-Men 97 is notably the first Marvel Studios project to make fully-fledged use of the X-Men since Disney's merger with Fox. Those seems primed to be a nostalgia piece largely rooted in the past, and there's nothing wrong with that. And most importantly of all, it was recently confirmed that the show will feature the unforgettable original theme tune, which is so infectious it even crept its way into the MCU in both Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Miss Marvel. X-Men 97 premieres in early 2024. Number 1. The Franchise and last but certainly not least, we have the franchise, the latest project from satirical maestro Armando Iannucci, director Sam Mendes, and succession writer John Brown. The show centers around the hellish production of a superhero film, and is topped by a banger cast, including Billy Magnuson, Jessica Hines, Himesh Patel, Aya Cash, Richard E. Grant, and Daniel Bruhl. And it doesn't take a genius to deduce that this one's going to be taking its aim firmly at the MCU and the general dominance of Cape Fair in pop culture. And given Armando's skills with punchy satire, he could deliver the most astute takedown of the grossly oversaturated genre yet. Here's open. The franchise should air in late 2024. So there we have it guys, plenty coming up to watch, but let us know what you're checking out and I'll see you next time.